Hi guys. Today we will analyze buckle stock and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical analysis. The stock's overall performance in the market is below average. Also recent evolutions are not positive. The short and long term trends are negative. There should be more interesting stocks out there. The stock is currently trading in the lower part of its 52 week range, which is not a good signal. Support level is around $33.30. Next support levels are around $28.50 and $24.80. Resistance levels are around $39.30 and $43.50. In the last month, the stock has been trading between $35 and $40 range. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. Prices have been falling strongly lately, it is better to avoid new long positions here. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P-E ratio and expected growth rate. First model. Discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 5% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 13% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 135% per year for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Buckle Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Buckle will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, minus 3%. Future profit margin would be low, 8%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $34. Second scenario. Buckle will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 0%. Future profit margin would be average, 11%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 95%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $57. Third scenario. Buckle will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 3%. Future profit margin would be high, 13%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 120%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $94. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 4.8. Minimum rate of return. I will use 12%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Buckle, analysts forecast growth rate around 2% per year in next 5 years, and future P around 8. Again. I will use three different scenarios for Buckle Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Buckle will have bad performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, minus 3%. Future PE would be low, 8. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $11. Second scenario. Buckle will have average performance in next five years and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be 0%. Future P.E. would be average, 11. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be 
Third scenario. Buckle will have high performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 3%. Future PE would be high, 14. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $32. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $35, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. Well, it's an interesting debt-free company. And the stock looks fairly priced. However, the company is expected to show a negative growth in revenue in 2022 and a very small growth, 0 to 2%, in the next few years. So, I want some extra margin of safety here. I may consider opening a small speculative position when the stock drops below $28. The stock's dividend is pretty good as well. Company strengths Buckle is a retailer of casual apparel, footwear, and accessories for young men and women. The company operates approximately 446 retail stores in 42 states throughout the United States. Strong brand portfolio. Its brands include Levi's, Wrangler, Hurley, Timberland, Sorel, Steve Madden, Ray-Ban, Champion, Fossil, and other. The company is debt-free. Also, its stable free cash flow provides opportunities to invest in adjacent product segments. With more cash in bank the company can invest in new technologies as well as in new products segments. Even though Buckle is facing downward pressure on profitability, compared to competitors it is still racking in higher profit margins. Buckle's return on assets of 24% and return on equity of 45% are amongst the best returns of the industry. Profit margin of 20%, this is amongst the best returns in the industry. Risks the company is not very good at product demand forecasting leading to higher rate of missed opportunities compared to its competitors. It ends up keeping higher inventory both in-house and in-channel. Day's inventory is high compared to the competitors, making the company raise more capital to invest in the channel. This can impact the long-term growth of Buckle. Organization structure is only compatible with present business model thus limiting expansion in adjacent product segments. Even though the company is spending above the industry average on research and development. It has not been able to compete with the leading players in the industry in terms of innovation. Buckle also faces strong competition from other specialty retailers, department stores, discount stores, and catalogs. Measured over the past five years, Buckle shows a decrease in revenue. The revenue has been decreasing by minus 4% on average per year. The company is expected to show a very small growth in revenue, 0 to 2%, in the next few years. The stock's current low valuation adequately reflects the company's near-term challenges. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.